Yo, what up guys, beside you here, I finally built this legendary champion from the Undead Horse faction who I've had for a while and I never put gear on him or use him in any content. Why? Because I had other damage dealers in my arena, in my Hydra, in my clan boss. He was never needed on my team until now when this new PvP mode that makes you build a bunch of legendaries or a bunch of damage dealers for different options. That Talking about the siege mode, right? So I'm building this champion to hopefully use him in one content in the siege mode and I'll show you where I can use him in every other PvE content. This champion is called Marshall or Marshaled, however you choose to pronounce it. He's on Death Horse faction, damage based on attack, a legendary champion, cool, awesome design, unique. You'll not find any other champion that looks like this in raid. I used to think he's from Skinwalkers or something, no, but this is on Death Horse faction and he's feared in raid Shadow Legends in the legendary i mean in the arena because of this true fear that he brings to the enemies so that's why people fear him whenever you see a mashallah just know that this is the skill he's about to put on you especially if you have no way of stopping it true fear will make you just miss your turn just like that it's a small chance significant chance of missing your turn some say stun is better than true fear but true fear will just make you miss your turn that skill will go on cooldown as if you just used it when you did not use it I hate it. So whenever you have true fear on you, or the enemies have true fear on them, if they get feared or if they get true feared, that skill will just go on cooldown. That's what Mashallah does to the to the enemies when he places this true fear and a leech debuff. The leech is more useful for PVE content, boss content especially, but the true fear is mostly you find it in arena or even any wave content. True fear on them, you'll be safe most likely. Now, that's not all he does, but that's the main thing he brings to the battle. This skill will need accuracy to place it, but check out, he grants an extra turn after he does this skill. So, it feels like this skill is on a two-turn cooldown. He places it, he doesn't hit with this skill. Take note, he doesn't hit. So, but check the first part. He places 30% increased speed and increased crit damage buff on all allies for two turns. He will buff his own crit damage before he goes in for the extra second turn that grants an extra turn right so even if you don't build this champion for the purpose of placing true fear let's say against bosses you cannot true fear the hydra you cannot true fear the clan boss but just because of this increased crit damage that he places on himself then grants an extra turn that makes a lot of people want to use this champion because he boosts his own crit damage while bringing increased speed for everybody else in the team so it feels like this champion is not just useful for true fear in arena but also useful for just this increased damage and increased speed in dungeons or hydra content. So take note of that skill. He will use this skill and grant himself an extra turn. And then he will go in with this A3. It's a single target hit. People in raid don't like single target hits. Usually don't like it. We're like, oh, we want AoE damage dealers. People who hit everybody. But this champion, why he's so useful in bosses or other content is because of this single damage that he does. 80% chance of stealing all buffs from the target before attacking. You will need accuracy for him to be able to steal all buffs that the enemies have on them. Maybe even steal stone skin heal, steal block debuff buff that they have on them, steal increase defense, steal their shield if it's not protected and all that. Also places a heal reduction debuff for two turns. This heal reduction will come in handy against that Sister of Zodrano's boss Amuse. So that's one. Every time we look for a champion who has consistent heal reduction, and that's it right here on a three turn cooldown, the heal reduction will be for two turns. He also places two continuous heal buffs on himself for three turns. This champion needs nobody to do healing for him. He can keep himself alive with all this healing that he's doing with all the hits that he'll put, including the leech. But if he goes down eventually, you might need a reviver to bring him back to life. His damage increases by 50% against targets that have no buffs. Now you see why people use him in the Hydra. Now you see why people use him in the clan boss because the clan boss and the Hydra most likely will not have any buffs on them and he will hit extremely hard. Remember, he has already added 50% increased crit damage on himself before he's going in with this skill and also going to be increasing his own damage especially by 50% because the target has no buffs. So with all that I'm saying right now, it feels like this champion is just built for this A2 and A3, A2 and A3. But yes, that works fine. But check out the A1. It cannot be also a simple one. He attacks one enemy single target. He heals this champion by 30% of the damage inflicted. Like I said, he has no need for any healing coming on for any other sources. 
he will just do this by himself keep himself alive with all this leech and heal that he has we will then attack enemies under leech so you feel it's a single target hit but nope any other of the enemies or hydra heads or the wave content that have leech on them remember he starts the battle with this leech right yes he starts the battle with this leech then follows up with this so by the time it comes to the a1 most likely they will still have leech on them hopefully because the leech is for two turns so he will attack one person then attack others <laughs> he will test this champion in battle and see how he you know functions and take a look at these skills in great detail so we can see how how he prioritizes them and use them in order all right he does have an increased attack in dungeons by 34 percent aura which is nice all right it's time for me to show you how i build this champion the best artifacts for this champion will be determined by your level in the game where you intend to use him so don't just blindly follow the artifact set i put on my own marshal right if you're in super early game you want to use the champion maybe in the clan boss he belongs in a lifesteal set if you want him for hydra he belongs in relentless if you want him for clan i mean for arena he probably belongs in a um savage merciless whatever set that does maximum damage so there are three different ways to build the champion even super early game you want your martial art to be in perception because by then maybe you don't have good life skill set you give him this perception set so he can have enough accuracy when you don't have a banner to meet his accuracy requirement to always land that at least fear that you need for wave content i'm talking about dungeons when you're struggling to get to dungeon 20 at that early game stage but if you want to build this champion as just a clan boss damage dealer in that early game, life still the best way to go. Probably say he probably doesn't need life still. He's going to heal himself from this A1 and other skills, right? But still, I feel like that's a fair one that if simple artifact that you might have in the early game. Triple speed set, perception, accuracy set, all early game sets. Now for end game players, you want to go with savage because that's what you've been farming from the fire knight and you have a lot of savage that gear set will not fail you on this champion for arena arena uh, martial art uh, or martial art is always built in those type of damage dealing sets so savage is the very first one my original build for this champion with, was in savage so before recording this video i quickly switched it from savage to this litter because you know litter is an upgrade to savage so I just had to give him that little boost steal some gear from my few champions and make this one an impressive damage testing video for you guys so there is no way i'm gonna build a marshal and not show you his full damage potential at least in dungeon content or in arena content where i'm gonna be testing him out to see what it does so that's my artifact set i've already talked about the early game ones for end game ones savage little or merciless let me know in the comments which other sets you think will be perfect for this champion i've seen players using this champion for content like the hydra or um the clan boss also put him in a relentless also put him in a reflex set this type of sets make those his skills especially the a2 that you need to give you extra taunts to always be available to be used it makes these skills go you know it has a few 40 percent chance of reducing the random skill cooldown right so that's what this set might be perfect for him i maybe i miss my switch it i built him for a particular content which is city of centranos or um the new siege mode where we are building different damage dealers that's why i put him in this set he's not part of my hydra team so that's why i did not put him in this reflex set or a relentless set if i was to use martial out in hydra i would definitely use the artifact set remember you're trying to hit high crit rate damage high i mean high crit rate and crit damage numbers that's the number one priority for a damage dealer like this or high accuracy requirement to match the content you are trying to fear or you're trying to place this other um leech debuff on. i think the fear is the main debuff you want to place than the leech so you might not even need accuracy on this champion if it's pure arena <laughs> there are some arena mashala who is just there to nuke they don't care about the fear so depends whether you want the fear or not will be determining whether you want accuracy banner on this champion or not or whether you want to go perception or not so choose pure damage martial art or martial art or um accuracy plus damage martial art. so you gotta choose you gotta choose many many ways to build this champion he's one of those complicated champion like hundig who needs accuracy crit rate crit damage speed everything attack he needs too much like a ninja also 
there are champions like that in red who has so many potentials from their accuracy requirement and so many potentials for their pure damage dealing requirements you gotta choose you gotta choose so whatever you want to choose let me know in the comments how you build yours anyways that's my total start on this champion i was looking for crit rate and crit damage on ivory artifact set you find it even accuracy as a requirement also crit rate crit damage speed is what i was looking for and crit damage always with crit rate substats on the um globe with the chest being attack main start with accuracy um coming right here for extra stat i've not even maxed out this one crit damage substat is also nice and then for the boots this is not a champion that should be slow we've heard people building damage dealers in 160 180 speeds but i wanted my uh, marshal to be at least 200 to 220 speed and i was able to hit that 200 mark he should be faster for other content but i guess for the content where i built him for 200 might be a, a good way a good place to start with the speed requirement that's why i didn't go cheap on the speed boots but i didn't have a lot of speed substat on other artifacts that's why my speed is not so high on him even my banner has only 5 plus 5 speed it's not like a 16 plus banner one day i'll change it though and then for the amulet always crit damage on a damage dealer, damage dealer like this he always he got the accuracy um double roll and the attack roll, double roll to even help him in more damage attack on the ring always with triple roll on attack so his attack is also high because of all the stats i was getting Check out his total stat before I show his mastery. This champion is rocking with almost 6k attack. I can't wait to test out his pure damage. And that, check out the speed that I talked about. Not up to 200 yet, but I would love to hit 200 on this champion. 100% crit rate. Yes, he does not build, boost his own crit rate. He does boost his own crit damage. So you're talking 301% crit damage plus the extra 30% crit damage he will add from the buff. That's going to give him a lot more than that. I'll bring in some other passive... Um, champions who add some you know damage to him to test out his damage 329 accuracy like i said it depends on the content this is obviously an overkill for content like the clan boss but if you're going for hydra and depending on the level you might have to up this accuracy or use your area bonus to boost it a little bit right all right that's my artifact set for him check out his masteries there are different masteries for mashalad i've seen some mashalad or mashald who does not even go towards offense they just focus solely on the support tree and go towards this eagle eye that's those marshal that just wants to place their fear on the arena i've also seen some marshal that does go defense and support or offense and defense they are different ones now this marshal you're looking at right here is one that can do like aoe nooks like big nooks big nooks he just cares about the nooks this does not really focus on boosting his accuracy more this focuses on trying to nuke the enemies as fast as possible so this also might be useful for wave content it's not the best for hydra heads like i said i didn't build him for hydra heads i built him for <laughs> siege content or city of centralness content if you're building this champion for hydra i think one master might be the way to go so if you have relentless or reflex set then you might want to go towards sam smasher or something i don't know so but general pv build will always go towards war master his a1 is single hit he doesn't do like multiple hits a1 to to waran giant slayer so it's either you're going towards war master or this you can check out l hate's website i always recommend you check them out for other mastery recommendations and make some changes according to your own like for my own this offense tree was being recommended with defense tree instead of selecting defense tree i knew i did not have enough accuracy i went towards the support tree to give me more accuracy from this 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 you know this one so i went towards here towards here because of that more accuracy i needed because i didn't have a lot of accuracy in a lot of my artifact substats all right for his um blessing i went with soul rip like i said i built this champion for siege plan boss i mean siege arena siege arena that's why i'm hoping to use him in so that's why i went towards so if this is the blessing that is most likely going to be best for or even and um, crushing rain crushing rain can also be useful in pvp content but if you're going to use the champion in um general content like the hydra or clan boss for sure where he shines you might not want to go towards so rip where that doesn't help you i've seen a lot of recommendations for that will be cruelty or something like that so I didn't want Cru cruelty or crushing rent are the ones that you recommend for higher level martial. All right. After all that talk, it's time for me to test this champion in some battles and see how we can help your teams. So I'll straight up head to the Dragon Festival where we have a wave content. I want to see how he performs against wave content. Not the Dragon Boss in particular. 
I want to test him out in this team that I just put together right now before recording this video. Why did I put this team together? Because I want to showcase his pure damage dealing ability before we move over to the arena and see what he, what he can do over there. So what am I doing right here? I'm trying to put decreased defense and weaken on the enemies. So I'm trying to put increased attack on the enemies. I'll put increased crit damage on from him. Then I have some passive in damage that is coming in from this champion Badel. I just want to see how much nukes you can do. And then a flex slot right here. All right, let's test the battle. Hopefully, it's the right affinity. I always don't check this thing before. His spirit affinity and these are... Is it the right affinity? I don't know. Let's just see. Decrease defense and weaken. Whatever, do whatever. And do whatever you want. Come on, let Marshall get a turn. He's the wrong affinity here. <laughs> let me not use it in this stage. I want to test his pure damage to see what we can do. His spirit affinity, so he'd rather go against level 19. Let me not go cheap. Let me go higher. Spirit against force, 25. This should be working fine, right? Yes. Level 25. Let's not go away from 20. They have higher defense in that level, but well, it's all good. I want to really test what he can do for his... A1, his A3, those are the two damage dealing abilities I want to see. The big numbers. I'll put this on one speed so I don't go too fast. And we want to see the damage numbers, right? On the screen when they pop up. I'll not run the, all the battle all the way to the boss. I just want to run the first um, stage. Alright, like I said, he will start the battle with the fear. If I do auto, you see, that's the fear. He just placed fear, fear, fear on all of them. I have so many poisons, I can't even see the fear, but that's the fear at the end for two tons. Two ton fear is crazy. I thought it's just a one ton fear. It's two ton fear. When I was reading out the skills, I didn't even acknowledge that it's a two ton fear. It is a two ton fear. And also the leech for three tons with the help of the mastery. It's normally a two ton leech, but for the mastery, it's helping them put it on three tons, right? Alright, now he has taken that skill, it gives him an extra turn, like I said, he gets two turns. Now imagine in Relentless, it will be getting a lot more turns than this. The main damage dealing ability, which is the A3, who should we kill in instantly, one nook. Attacks one enemy, 80% chance of stealing. He's not going to steal, he's just going to kill that enemy for sure. Doesn't grant an extra turn or anything if he kills that enemy though. He also plays continuous heal on himself for three turns let's kill one person 344k damage on one hit that's surely gonna take anybody down in arena there's no champion and thing even a brogni udk sifi that's enough damage to take them down but of course i'm getting a lot of passive damage coming in from all these champions the decrease defense and weakin condition is also out there now, I want to test out the A1 so you can see how it works. Now, you've seen the A3, you've seen the A2, A1. Then I'll end this battle and head over to the arena and test him out in that content also. Come on now, let's use the A1. That's not the A1, that's not his turn yet. Increase attack again. Now it is turn, right? No, still not his turn. Come on, let Mashallah go. He's so slow. <laughs> Even before I use that A1, I'll go ahead and use this one that'll grant me an extra turn again. I thought we just use this key. Why is it available again? Then it feels like this key is on a lower cooldown or something. He has no passive, nothing, just three simple skills. Let me use it again. He's gonna place the fear again. The first fear I placed on them has not even fallen up. He's placing them, placing it again. Alright, now for us to use the A1 on who are we gonna test it on? One person, then it goes to everybody who has a leech. Normally, it's A1 is supposed to be one target hit. But if they all have Leech, they'll all get hit with this A1. How much damage will the A1 do? 258107. 258 for one person, then the others got 207 and something like that. That's still a powerful A1. His A1 and A3 hit extremely hard. I just wanted to test it out so you can see the big numbers. Yes, I do have decrease defense and weaken out there. Yes, I did bring this um, Badel to boost my damage. Yes, I did bring an Habitat to increase attack. If you want big damage, you have to meet all the other requirements to, to do big damage. You can't just bring him in there alone and expect and say, why are you not doing big numbers? You have to meet other requirements, especially if you're going to use the champion in the Hydra 
in clan boss, please add decrease defense and weaken out there and make him, you know, reach his full potential with damage. Against bosses, imagine what it would be like. So I'm not even going to try the dragon head or the dragon main boss. I want to test arena next. Live arena is not open, but sometimes I might bring it in there. Now, I'm going to use this champion in my normal speed team where I just go fast and kill them, right? Let me just test this enemy. This is a speed team, right? Yes. So I'll put in Mashalad and what's her name? Mashalad. I keep calling, calling him Mashalad. Recently used. There he goes. And do I even need this decrease defense and weaken from what's her name? Where is she? Where is she? She's in the vault. That's why she's not showing up. There she is. All right. Just so I can keep it consistent and test the damage. Hopefully, we still see this big 300k damage on the A3 from this content slow speed. Decrease defense and weaken out there on all of them. Remember, this is gold arena, so it's not like it's um, not high end arena, it's gold 5. It's not like platinum or anything. That's why they don't have shields and anything. I'd love to try it against a big shield team and see what it does. Always, he will start a battle with the fear. They are all feared, well, except... Why did that one get... He didn't hit them at all. When you don't hit them, they don't get um, to resist you. Maybe my accuracy was not enough for that last enemy. Alright, I'll go in with the A3, first of all, to knock this person down. I got feared. Did he send my fear back to me? <laughs> I didn't even notice. I was wondering why he didn't get a fear. What does this champion do? Why did he send my fear back to me? That's not nice. How dare you? Well, this gives them an opportunity to get a turn at least. And get all of them feared and miss their turn at least. I can still put the fear on you. He's sending it back or something. There you go. He's almost dead. I'm not going to use my revive there or my um, yeah, healing or anything there. He, he might go down. I'll we'll have Abita here to bring him back to life. Will I still get feared if I use the A1? 240. So without the A3, the A1 still won me this battle. I did get all the fear on me back. But yeah, <laughs> even without the A3, I won with the A1. So it's not an A1 that can be ignored. You say you don't like a champion who does single target hits. But here he comes doing multiple target hits with that A1 that has a condition that if the targets have... Um, what do you call this skill now? Leech debuff. He will hit all of them. I want to try a tankier team. Obviously, it's going to be a stretch to win this one. <laughs> I just wanted to try a team like this. I might need help from Amans or something so they don't just you know, endlessly control me. Let's just do, do like this. I don't need degrees events and weaken for this one. Maybe I might have brought my own UDK. I want to nook a UDK. That's why I'm going against this tanky team, which I know is obviously going to be hard to kill. But I want to see how much I can take down from UDK. He's in stone skin. That UDK we might have to wait two more turns to remove his stone skin. But let's see. Or maybe just ship him and we're fine. Ship him and it doesn't stop the damage anymore. Yeah, let's ship him first of all. So we can remove the stone skin that way. When it comes back to life, I want to nuke that UDK. For now, I'm not even going to bother to place the fear, but I need that increased crit damage. So he places it on everybody. He didn't get it on the... the um, what's her name now? I'd like to to kill her with my A3. 139, because this time he, he doesn't have the decrease defense and weaken from my um, other champion, right? So... He didn't even have increased attack. Why did Abita not place increased attack on him before he did that skill? Did he was it faster than my Abita? Impossible. I don't know why she didn't place the increased attack on him first before he used his big noobs, but that still got the CF down. Alright, I'm waiting for UDK to come back, so I want to see how much I can look. Although he will come back with half health, but I still want to see how much damage I'll do to him. So even without um, Amans, maybe the fear was enough for me to control them, but I didn't want to take any chances. That's why I still brought in an Amans to make sure I control them while I get around to my skill. Use this one again that will place the increased crit damage. And now I'm going to hit one person 
you always want to hit the person with the right affinity which is obviously going to be udk and hopefully he spreads or he hits everybody else that has leech he will hit them but will he kill them with weak hits let's find out 42k he got a weak hit over there and that didn't kill this champion all right so we've seen enough martial art is good for arena crowd control damage when he can finally get a turn and yeah his a1 is not something to be you know to be just laughed about it's not a simple a1 as you can see he does nuke extremely hard yeah i really like this champion now i've built him for that content there are some times where he might find a way to into my arena team and i built him like i said for the siege one of those defenses where i want to spe set special conditions where a undead odds faction champion might be my damage dealer and he might come in right there and help me all right let me know in the comments how you built your martial where you use him there are many places he can be used in raid i'm glad to finally have him built on my account and ready to go with this gear that i probably stole from some champions where i, I might have to go replace on them and yeah i love to hear your comments below about this champion yeah this steal from this champion his chest <laughs> ratalo's chest has been sticking i will put something else on ratalo's my child can rest and use this one little for now all right hopefully in the future we can find better ways to use this champion for now all the damage dealers i have already are doing so much work for me in other content that i do not need him for those content but where i do need him in that arena in that siege mode or in hydra one day he might be able to be the damage dealer i use for that content i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily raid content and head over to the comments right now and let me know which champion i should take a look at you can tell i do max out the champion put everything on them and test them out by the best i can and tell you where i'm going to use them in my team if you totally use them in different places it's totally fine also check out other content creators who have done extensive videos about this champion in the clan boss in the hydra content where i did not show in this video obviously because i don't want to use him for that content but in this same build he might work for that content twitch.tv for slash brick friday is where i hang out where we do those tests if you want to see me use him on a hydra one day head over to the stream right there and let me know in the comments all right later guys